Billy Garrett thought his season was over when Westchester finished this season. Rookie out of DePaul then gets a call from the Knicks, from Craig Robinson, telling him, hey, Mellon, get your shoot on. We need you. Down in Orlando, he shows up, plays 12 minutes, gets his first NBA points. We'll talk about that right here. Yeah, and I thought he looked good. He came in, and he looked like he, uh, he commanded the team very well, uh, playing with the second unit. Good dribble penetration by Ellenson. Gets it out to Jenkins. Jenkins to Garrett. Nice little up fake. Now frees it there. Here's the, here's the lane wide open. Now here's a shot blocker, Aaron Gordon, who's going to come up here and try to meet him. Now Billy Garrett is not the tallest guy, and he's not the most athletic guy, so he's not going to be like Russell Westbrook meeting um, uh, Gordon at the rim. So he takes the little floater. This is a shot that every guard in the NBA needs, especially point guards, because you don't want to always have to go finish around the rim. Nice little floater uh, over the defense, and then the shot blocker can't bother his shot. And Gets the first bounce. NBA points. That was impressive. And uh, I remember Billy Garrett at DePaul. He, he battles sickle cell anemia, right. and he manages it well. He was a good player at DePaul. You know, they were always kind of a little up and down, but he was a very consistent scorer, and he's got good size for a point guard, too. I know that's what the Knicks like about him, and that was a good debut in a Nick uniform. And certainly a night that he'll remember for yep. a long time. Now, you see that floater there. We were showing you Mario Hazonia, also a couple of floaters in this game as well. Mm -hmm. But along with his 29 points career high, he had five assists in this game, controlling the offense, and cool. he finds Mitchell Robinson here. Yeah, and he, he looked like Magic Johnson tonight. Here's a high pick and roll action. Magic Mario. Magic Mario, Super Mario, right. Here's a high screen and roll. Now, Freed's it there. Look at how he flies off this screen, and Aaron Gordon is not used to guarding a guy in pick and rolls, especially at the four spot. And then Mitchell Robinson does a good job of running right, straight, right, right down the lane and getting the pass from his own yet. Look at how the space, it's all about how hard he comes flying off the screen. He's fast, so he's stuff to keep up with. Right now, he's done. He's in deep trouble. Fusevic realizes this, he has to help, and then there's too much space for the Mitchell Robinson to roll down the lane. And here comes the help from Terrence Ross, a little bit late. He's got to be in here a little earlier. But watch the timing on this pass, and watch how this pass leads Mitchell Robinson right into the finish. And he knows from. how to finish. Yes. <laughs> he knows he jumped from outside the charge circle. That was a nice little play, and I'm telling you, I think Coach should continue to use his own in this way because he really showed him that that fits his skill set to kind of handle the ball up high and run those pick and rolls and make plays happen. Well, Mario Hizonia, a number five overall pick a couple of years ago by the Magic, had himself, although despite the loss, a good homecoming.